everybody can you believe it your girl is back your girl is back with another beat do y'all see this beat like oh my goodness in today's video i am going to be using the jackie ayana palette i love this palette like it is bomb.com if you can get your hands on it do it so let's start from the top right so eyebrows are already on i'm using soft ochre paint pot to prime my lids and i'm just using like a what is this a round concealer brush whatever you want to call it, something that's going to put this primer on and i'm not even gonna lie i use a lot of primer and i kind of mean to but i'm glad i did because i needed a really good base because i'm putting a lot of eyeshadows on my lids today so once that is all nice and good and blended out i'm going to grab my palette this is what it looks like mine is a little busted because i use this to death i love this palette I'm using the Morphe M507. Now, this brush is very, very important, and you'll see why. The first color I'm picking up is Big Wig. Hey, Big Wig. Okay, and if you watch my previous video, that quarantine smoky eye video, I used the P. Louise technique. I'm not about to get into it too much, but anyway, the whole P. Louise technique is you start off with a small blending brush and your darkest color, and then you work your way up from that. So that's a, that's what I'm doing, and I'm not gonna lie, it works really good. So I'm putting that big wig in my crease, and I'm taking my makeup rag and just cleaning off that brush. The next color I'm picking up is pinker, and I'm basically gonna use pinker to blend out pink wig. I mean, pink wig, <laughs> big wig. So that is what it looks like when i have both of those eyeshadows on there now you can barely see pinker but that's okay because we're gonna put another eyeshadow on top of that and that eyeshadow is called supreme so i'm gonna take supreme which is that pink color make sure your brush is clean because we don't want to mix the colors just yet so i'm gonna take supreme and i'm going to use that to blend out pinker and i'm not going to stop blending out supreme until i am happy with the blending so keep blending no matter how long it takes you just keep doing it until you are satisfied now i wanted this shape of the eyeshadow to be very round so i'm literally taking that pinker and putting it in the inner corner and under the brow so just keep following that same shape that you started with using big wig so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get pinker again and then layer these eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna do this for a couple of times. I'm gonna take Pinker, do that, and then take Big big Wig and do that, and then take Supreme and just keep blending. And I keep doing it until I get the desired gradient that I want. If you don't want your gradient to be this dark, then don't put so much Big Wig down. Or whatever color you start off with, don't put so much down. But I loaded my brush up. You heard me? Up. Okay. So big wig, one more time, putting that directly in my crease. I'm not worried about the bottom part of my eyelid because we are going to cut our crease anyway. Speaking of cut our crease, I'm using shape tape. I wish I had a P. Louise base. I want to buy me some. I think I am. But for the time being, I'm going to use shape tape and it works pretty good, but it's not the best. So with that shape tape, as you can see, I was dragging it down my hand because I want it to start drying to get a little bit more tacky. I don't want it to be so wet. So with my cut crease, I'm going to do the stamp method. So I'm going to put that concealer on my mobile lid and then I'm going to look up. And then once I look down, you can see that the concealer stops where my natural crease is. So I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on my lid, look up to stamp it. And then I'm going to basically create the perfect cut crease using that outline that the stamp made. So I'm going to start connecting everything together and making it nice and smooth. I hope this is all making sense. If not, I'm pretty sure there's somebody else who made a video like explaining it a little better. But that's just what I did. The brush that I'm using, you can pretty much use any thin concealer brush that you have. The one I'm using is by ColourPop. They don't even make this anymore. This is the same brush I use to carve out my brows. So that's just what I'm using for the time being. For the outer part, I tugged on my eye just a little bit and I connected it. And then you see when I open my eye, the fold, my natural fold of my eye, it kind of like, it's not straight. So I'm just going to straighten that out. 
I didn't want to wing this cut crease out, but if you want to, you totally can. I'm using this IT brush. It's a fluffy flat brush, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to use that to basically get off any excess concealer that is on my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go back in with that detailed concealer brush and just make sure that everything is straight as possible and for my liking. So the next brush I'm picking up is this BH Cosmetics brush. It's a small, thin brush, and I'm going to use Big Wig and Credit. I'm gonna go in between the two, but I'm making sure that the last color I pick up is Big Wig. I'm just using Credit to darken it. And what I'm doing is going over that line that we made our concealer with. So I'm not worried about getting it on the concealer part because I can always go back and clean it up if I need to, which I don't. But um, I'm just filling, I, well, I guess you can say filling in the outer V of the eye. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended because I don't want, I don't want to put any shimmer on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go on the inside of the eye and basically just make a big you or a half circle just following that that crease that cut crease line that we originally did and then you can see that it's a little bit more defined a little bit more you know outlined and stuff like that we're gonna go in and we are going to blend that line because it is harsh but that's just giving us a good starting point so now with that same morphe brush i'm picking up big wig and i'm going to use big wig to blend out <laughs> big wig and credit just small 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 like I'm using like basically the tip of the brush I'm not even putting that brush you know I'm not even going ham with that brush anymore then after I get big wig I'm using pinker again and I'm going to blend that out and then guess what I'm gonna use supreme again and I'll blend that out and you keep doing it and you keep doing it and you keep doing it until what it is blended to perfection until you really really like it I'm obsessed with this technique now because my eyeshadow game has went to like it was a four and now it's like at a ten I'm sorry I'm gonna I'm praise myself real quick but anyway I am going to use that top left eyeshadow with a small shader brush because I don't need this shimmer going crazy and I'm using padding motions because if I would sweep that eyeshadow on that glitter and that shimmer will literally get everywhere and it's going to destroy our matte shades that we have going on up at the top so I'm just packing that on that empty space on the lid and I'm being very careful because I like I said I don't want to get any shimmer on the matte eyeshadows So making sure that that is full of that color and that's what it should look like. <laughs> I look silly. I'm going to take that bullet brush and pick up Shookington. <laughs> it's like a shimmery purple. And I did, this is like a last second thing. This is not the look I originally was going for. I would kind of just wanted to stop at that last shade I used and that be it. But I didn't. So I'm taking Shookington. And I'm basically creating a halo eye and I'm putting it on the outer part of my eye. And then on the inner part of my eye, I'm using trust issues. I started off with a brush, but the brush wasn't doing it for me. So I got my pinky out. Hey, pinky up. Um, and I just patted that on my lid. And then I'm going to take Shookington again with that bullet brush. And I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eye. Like the very inner V of my eye. Not so much like my tear duct, but like the... I can't really explain it but in this particular look i didn't want to do an inner corner highlight because i had so much already going on within you know the cut crease and then that pink i brought it down kind of lower into my inner corner where my tear duct is so yeah an inner corner highlight to me would have been too much basically is what i'm trying to say so i'm just taking shookington and putting that in that inner v of my eye and then i didn't show y'all my face and all that stuff well my foundation because it's the same as the other one so i'm using this becca highlighter in lilac geode and a morphe highlighting brush and literally this highlighter is beautiful like look at it 
oh and i know i put a lot on but oh my god just it's rose gold it's oh, it's just so nice i'm sorry um i'm using essence of waterproof mascara for the bottom lashes and i did coat the top the lashes that i have on couldn't even tell you what brand they were i just have them we in quarantine and just don't got that many lashes so i'm using however many i can um for setting spray using my mac fix plus matte you know this is matte and i'm putting on a shimmer highlighter it doesn't matter it honestly didn't make a difference to you know my shimmer highlight for the lips i'm doing my little lip trick if you didn't watch the video i posted previously my quarantine smoky eye go watch that first and then you understand what i'm doing but for the liner the lip liner i'm using plum by mac and i'm going to outline my lips and color in the outer corner of my lips a little bit and then i'm using this amazing amazing lip tint by lipstick queen and it's called girls will be boys it looks gray but it turns into like a popsicle pink tint oh it's 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 so pretty so what i'm doing with that is basically putting obviously putting that over my lips but i'm mixing the lip liner in with it for my lipstick i'm using lorac lipstick in goddess it's like a bright mauvey pink and then i'm putting that lip liner you know back on my lips just to you know tone it down a little bit i didn't really want this to be a super ombre lip just like a baby ombre lip so yeah that's pretty much it i have been feeling super inspired to get out of my comfort zone and play with different palettes so if there's a certain look you would like to see or a certain palette you want me to use please comment down below um i'm really trying to stay inspired stay busy with this quarantine going on hopefully this can get y'all's mind off of the world for just a second um but yeah Please like this video and share it and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye!